Hey, let's talk about core gameplay loops and how Mountain Blade of Warband used them to steal eight years of my life! So a core loop in the context of video games is basically just the time put into an action giving you a reward, with the reward being enjoyment. All good games have at least one great gameplay loop. And that's really all you need to make a game as long as you stick to that loop, but more often, especially in bigger games, it's a combination of many gameplay loops. Mixing short loops like fun and exciting combat with longer ones like the conclusion of an epic story and you've got the makeup of your average game. Now, some loops suck more than others, but generally as long as the game is built around something solid, it should be alright. Tearworlds Entertainment were able to build an entire open world sandbox around enjoyable core loops. You know, instead of it being a bunch of nothing. Mountain Blade isn't perfect, and it has weak features in it, but where the game shines is in its ability to make its weaker elements unimportant to the average player. Yeah, you could optimize what kind of food you buy in order to get the max bonus in troop morale, or... You can buy loads of bread, charge into enemy territory, win every battle, and then use the morale gain from all that to keep all your troops from running away forever. Recruiting and training your army is fun, gearing up your characters is fun, the combat system is fun, battles are fun. These are things that you'll be doing all the time, and the game designers knew that. Sure, trading can be boring, but you can go through the entire game without sprinting all the way to the desert just making an $80 profit off some stupid Praven wine. It's a game where you can skip the parts you don't like. Tedious things, when done correctly, can improve the feel of a game, but if the game is made in a way that mitigates tedium, then there's more time for fun. I don't think I'm being very controversial in saying that most people would agree that it's better to have a game with 10 hours of straight grade A content than a 20 hour game with meh content. This is fun. This is very fun. I'm having a very good time. Not this though. This, this isn't as fun. Mountain Blade is a tad different, where it has the main course of 10 hours of great content, but it also has another 10 hours of honestly pretty meh content. I can't be the only one that doesn't even talk to my companions anymore, right? It's not perfect. Not everyone's gonna like the hour-long battles where you just fire arrow and arrow into the enemy as all your friends die around you and you're powerless to stop the fall of your final town. Oh god, it took me so long to capture that! Okay, so why am I talking about Mountain Blade Warband if everything I said can be applied to the original Mountain Blade as well? Well, if you look at the first Mountain Blade, you can build a big army and take over large parts of territory. It doesn't take long before all that can get a tad boring. While Warband introduced a feature that changed all of that. After spending hours working under some idiot monarch and ruling and winning battles in their name, but still being a subject to their wins, Warband finally lets you be the idiot running a faction. Imagine playing a game for hours, working on your character, watching your unique world evolve over time, and then you find out there's a whole aspect of the game still waiting for you to explore. Because of Mountain Blade's solid short loops, it's able to hold your interest long enough to achieve the most difficult, yet most impactful reward from that time and action cycle from earlier. A feeling of pride. It's one of the most rewarding feelings in the world to zoom out and gaze over your faction on a save that's playtime is better measured in weeks than hours. This is the hardest loop for a game to create, the feeling of achievement over your work. Am I really getting teary-eyed over a video game? This would have never been possible without a solid game in place, or else no one would ever put this kind of time into a game. Mountain Blade creates amazing experiences, like the time you got your first castle, or the excitement and fear of when you rebelled from your liege to forge your own kingdom, or even some crazy battle that you somehow managed to win despite the odds. Moments that are so memorable that you keep jumping back into Colradia, time and time again. Also, if you ever get bored, you can always download mods and put another 300 hours into the game. Now please let Bannerlord be good.